Hi guys. I'm super duper close. I need to back up. Um, hi. See anything new? I have to. <laughs> I don't have braces anymore, and I'm super ecstatic about that. It's been like a month, so I've been really enjoying having no metal in my mouth. Um, enjoying my new smile. Here we are for the Reading Rush TBR. I'm going to tell you guys the seven books I chose for the seven challenges for next week, which is the July 20th through July 26th or the 27th. Either way, I have to read seven books in seven days and I think I got it this year. So here we go. The first challenge is for um, read a book that matches the color of your birthstone. I was born in September, so my birthstone is Sapphire, which is a very, very deep, deep dark blue. So I chose Ugly Love. As you can see, the cover is very blue, very dark. And I've read this before, but uh, it's been like a really long time. I just found the audiobook on Libby, so I'll be, be, be able to read this like super duper quick. Next challenge is to read a book that starts with The, which wasn't very hard for me, but I wanted to choose this book, The Only Woman in the Room. I definitely want to read this for a while now because I think it'll be like really inspiring to hear another woman's story as how she navigates a world where you know it's very male dominated and it's probably like probably just like a really good read for any girl um especially me being in stem so i definitely want to crack this open so i can get some quotes out of it next challenge is the movie to book challenge which is like where you're supposed to read a book that's actually inspired by a movie so the movie came first and then the book came so um, that's kind of tough for me, but I have Tiger Lily, which I don't exactly know what it's about. I think it's from Tinkerbell's perspective or something like that. It's supposed to be like really dark, and I hear people will say that it's really good. So since Peter Pan came out way before this book, I think, way before this book, um, that should probably count. So if that's cheating, it doesn't really matter because I'm, I want to read seven books, but I'm not really taking it that serious. I'm just trying to... Go with the flow. I'll have the I'll have like links to the books down below in the description. The next challenge is actually to read a book outside, which I feel is not a good prompt to go by in this like pandemic. But I do have um, a place to sit outside, so that's where I'll be for this challenge. I chose the book. She's still there. Um, this is a nonfiction book. It's a Christian nonfiction book, and I feel like reading this would be like a really good start to my day so i could like sit outside and like read um the different parts of this book there's like six parts so like if i could finish each part part like a day then i'll be able to finish this book in time for the end of the challenge next challenge is to it was like the, the first book that you touched and so i just like stacked a bunch of random books that i really want to read and i just moved my finger up them with my hands closed, with my, <laughs> with my eyes closed, and I chose The Fault in Our Stars. This is another book I've been wanting to reread for quite some time. And yeah, I'm excited to reread it because I really love the movie. Um, the movie made me cry. The book didn't, but you know, I just want to get back into this world with um, Hazel and Augustus. For this challenge, you're supposed to read a book from a different country than you, and I'm choosing A Thousand Splendid Sons by my favorite author, Cal Hassini. I read this way back in high school, which was like a very, very long time ago, um, eight years ago, and I definitely want to get back um, into the story, which is based in Afghanistan, so that's, you know, not in the U.S., which is where I'm based, so this counts, and it's going to be a really good read. So far this book, these books are pretty thick, so I mean, I've never won a, a Reading Rush challenge, um, like all seven challenges, so this will be challenging, but I do have free time, so um, I think last year, like usually it's in August, so I think, I think it's kind of happening pretty early, so I have nothing else to do um, unless I have a job interview, so that'd be one thing, but um, everything should be okay. I should be able to finish these books but there's one more challenge left and that challenge is to read um, your least read genre and I realized that I was tagged to do the black booktuber tag and I realized like it's been a while since I've read black books 
you know, or recommended some really good black author written books that, um, that I'd happily share. I decided that the genre I, I'm, I've been lacking in reading is African American fiction, which yes, it's a genre. So um, I looked at my shelf and you know, there's books that I definitely do want to read and they're by black authors, African American authors specifically. Um, but I realized I have audiobooks by black authors on my iPad in the Kindle app. And I decided to do Cameron by Jay Jones. You can see. I got it for free through the Kindle app. And it's about a girl and she's in college, but she also strips at night. She's a dancer. She's doing this to provide for herself to get through school, but then um, she's dating a guy who's like 10 years older than her and things happen and I think she ends up like not being able to do school like dancing becomes like full-time and that's how the whole story goes and I actually was looking at it and it's actually an 18 book series I think it she's like her story probably stops eventually but when I saw uh, all those books <laughs> I don't know if I'll get to all of them I don't know because I don't have them but we'll see and I would love to see the journey of the story. So that is it for my TBR. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are going to participate as well. Because the reading rush, as much as the prompts can be ridiculous, it's actually kind of fun because it's, it's, it's just a big community of readers. So I definitely suggest... Um, picking your TBR quickly. Hopefully you guys will join me. Remember to like and subscribe, comment if you want to, and <laughs> what else? Um, tell me if you read any of these books or if you plan to participate in the reading rush. Have a, I don't know, happy reading.